We have breaking news from Tesla Giga Berlin this morning, friends. There is a breaking news. You are seeing six Model Y performance uh, made at Giga Berlin, spotted leaving Giga Berlin on a trail. The purpose of these cars, I don't know, is unknown, but they can be demonstration cars, demo car, crash test car, validation cars. I don't know. The source is Steven and um, Julian uh, Eigemp, and uh, I think uh, they look a little unfinished to me in part do they have to go to crash test maybe there should be maybe difference in german cars with giga pressed one piece rare uh, compared to the ones made in america or gigafactory china if you look uh, i'm looking at some comments on facebook the people say the front car made of spray cast iron is the difference to compared to gigaf made uh, model y made in china the stern is also made of spray cast iron in china so i don't know what do you think about these cars friends i think they look very good quality to me right do you agree with that and um, but they are unfinished because probably um, uh, they are from validation or crash testing purposes you can use these cars for crash testing and uh, validation but six vehicles apparently made in tesla giga berlin are leaving giga berlin on a trailer where they are going we don't know where they are for what purpose we don't know where is the nearby crash area or demo area crash test validation area maybe some government office maybe for some uh, approval office i don't know if you guys have any information on this please let me know comment below this is armin harayan from torquenews.com daily giga berlin tesla and electric vehicle news please subscribe to our channel for all this stuff and also give us thumbs up if you found this report uh, helpful i will have all the uh, references in the description of this video and let's move on to our next tesla story. you are watching the last images of tesla giga berlin from 2021 taken from today december 29 2021 jürgen from germany near berlin area who tweets at gf for tesla has been documenting with some other friends tesla giga berlin's progress every day almost every day since the beginning since the announcement since they started cutting the trees and so on and today jürgen has shared these four images that you're seeing on your screen uh, showing the last impressions of tesla giga berlin from 2021 and saying that um, he wishes all of us a happy new year and that uh, hopefully the final building permit coming soon and that there will be more pictures and images available in 2022 from tesla giga berlin i wish you jürgen uh, also and your friends happy new year a blessed and meaningful new year for everyone in this world and you know friends i'm thinking that it seems like so far tesla giga berlin workers have shown great quality and design capabilities perfectionism in the beginning leads to less problems afterwards i think and um, once tesla giga berlin uh, gets the final permit and uh, and starts production of its vehicles uh, once that is achieved it will be important for tesla to also finish the battery factory quickly and to ramp up cars uh, car mass production you know tesla is going to start from uh, mobile uh, actually model y this is not an easy task for tesla you know in order to save storage costs tesla wants to have most of the parts delivered directly to production just in time therefore all suppliers of tesla giga berlin have to stick to their schedules this is well possible in germany as you know that germans are um, known for their punctuality now then uh, the, the suppliers of tesla giga berlin in turn depend on uh, functioning roads and rails hundreds of production steps have to harmonize perfectly in the factory too and finally tesla needs around 10,000 workers for mass production which elon musk says will start as early as autumn 2022 meaning 10,000 workers not the early uh, ramp so far however there are only around 2,000 people on board at giga berlin and tesla is hiring more workers and then for tesla it is clear if the demand is right the plant giga berlin should be enlarged possibly even by four times says rbb24 there is definitely not enough water in the region rbb says and at the moment and it will be years 
years before the authorities have built a new waterworks, new channels or super uh, super regional pipelines uh, instead of Tesla. Speed, patience is required here first. So what do you think, friends? Let me know about your thoughts on these pictures where Tesla is right now. This is Armin Haryan from TorqueNews.com. Please subscribe to our channel for daily, daily Tesla news and uh, electric vehicle news. Ring the bell, everyone, so you don't miss my next Tesla coverage. Give us thumbs up. I would greatly appreciate it. Happy New Year to all of you, and I'll see you soon in our next report today. Blessed Good to be. Good morning, dear friends. I want to bring you the latest from Giga Berlin. Right now at Tesla Giga Berlin, the latest is that quality over speed. We don't know exactly when Tesla will be able to produce its electric vehicles for customers at its Giga Berlin Giga factory in Germany. According to the Brandenburg's Ministry of the Environment, comments from critics are still being examined after an online discussion. A spokeswoman said that documents and or statements were still pending, especially on the area of pollution control and water from authorities but also from Tesla. So Tesla also has comments and uh, some criticism probably that authorities are examining. The approval process is ongoing. According to the latest reports, however, all the necessary documents are now available. Benjamin Rushke, the leader of the Greens in the Potsdam State Parliament, emphasized that there had to be a decision that was as legally secure as possible. Therefore, he said, therefore, quality is more important than speed. Let me know your thoughts, friends. Please also subscribe to this channel for daily Tesla news. And let's move on to our next Tesla story. There is a great benefit for Germany to approve Giga Berlin in 2021, even if it's the 11th hour of December 31st. Just for the optics, in the future, approval in 2021 by the German authorities should be somewhat of a priority, wrote Gus Levi. They can then always state that the factory, Giga Berlin, was started in 2020 and approved by 2021. This is why it's important. Mr. Paul commented and wrote this delayed Giga Berlin launch is very frustrating. Of course, it will be fascinating to compare the productivity and quality of Tesla's four main Giga factories next year in 2022 when they are all up and running. Mr. Paul says, my gut feeling is that in 2022, Tesla Giga Shanghai will be running super smooth and will excel. While at Giga Texas, the employees will ramp up production fast with that premier factory and footprint next to in, in Austin, Texas. While Giga Berlin show the weight was worthwhile, actually, will Giga Berlin show the weight was worthwhile? Or in a year from now, will Berlin be cleared third or worse still the fourth Giga factory behind Fremont? What are your thoughts? Let me know, friends. Tesla took a big risk building Giga Berlin Giga factory with preliminary approvals, but I think the risk is not as big as you may think. Let's be sensible about this. Giga Berlin's real risk is tiny, says Colin WP, one of you guys who have commented here. Germany is never going to put Tesla or any other massive investment, job creation, etc. and etc. in the position of saying no after outline approval and signing off the many, many stages of development of Giga Berlin EV factory. It is no-brainer, as they say, but in general, I would agree that US companies and U.S. investors are far more comfortable to accept higher risk, whereas Europeans will not be even a fraction of the same appetite. 